Okay. So I think we can start. Um, yeah. See, I'm not wearing it in black today. I decided to switch it up for you guys. Um, you know, boring on me. Just trying to get a pump on. Okay, so this is the prepping time, guys. Um, tying my hair back. So it doesn't get in the way. Um, to prep my lips. I'm using my, what is this? Elizabeth Arden 8 hour intensive cream thing. Um, it's for extremely dry lips like mine. And then I just did my eyebrows off camera because I did it very lightly using the Wet and Wild brow kit that I've been using for a very long time. Uh, it's in ash brown. Yeah. I can show you the broken thing, but that's it. Works like a charm. So yeah. I'm going to prep my face quickly. Um, using this little sample that I got from Dermalogica. The Hydra Blur Primer. It's amazing. Like, you can even wear this without any makeup and your skin looks really nice. No pores. No oiliness. It's really nice. Let me just zoom in and that's it pee little bottle but it's amazing it says here blur, blurs fine lines and pores hydrates and brightens for naturally flawless skin i think it kind of mm, let me just am i in focus yeah i think it really does the job so i'm just gonna put it in the spots that have, uh, that I tend to get a little bit oily in which is obviously this section and also because I have enlarged pores over here but I have been trying to do something about that foundation today I'm just going to be using this Avon one the Avon True Color Flawless Liquid Foundation in the shade Honey Beige Remember the pump didn't work, so I'm gonna have to apply it like this, but it's fine. Oh, that's cold. I don't really want to put on a lot of foundation because I don't know what kind of makeup look I'm going for today. Um, we're just gonna wing it, eh? We're gonna go for something that's I don't know. How do they call it? Soft glam. Let's try that. Let's see how it goes. Beauty blender, guys. Um, spray it with some water. Um, a wet beauty blender is just way better because it makes your uh, it makes your foundation come out. A little bit more flawless and it's not so heavy and cakey nobody wants to look like that you know so yeah and that was just normal water in a little bottle a plastic bottle that you can buy at like a plastic shop um, my sister bought a few and I kind of just grabbed one <laughs> and I just put water in there sometimes I I steal her oil a body shop oil and then I put some of that in makes it even nicer wow but for today it's just water I'm hoping this video is gonna be very quick because I don't want to waste your time guys you know also I feel like I should just grab a mirror to make sure that everything looks fine uh, I think I'm gonna leave it like this because this does oxidize a bit the slightest bit so I don't think I want to put on any more then I'm gonna conceal my under eye you know what I should have done this first this one is really nice the Smashbox camera ready BB cream that's my holy grail but um I usually put it on first. I actually skip that step by mistake. So I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild cover all. This is on its like last. 
And that's why I put up a um, question thingy on Instagram to ask for suggestions for a new concealer. One that is liquid, but I want it to be very creamy, you know. I always speak about this. And now I'm ready to invest. Um, yeah. Because I feel like a girl like me needs concealer under the eyes. I don't know if it's in my jeans, if it's because of my allergies that I um, rub my eyes too much, that I have these bags. That's a real thing, guys. But, um, yeah, it sucks. So I have to wear concealer quite often. It's proper shit. Just gonna use my beauty blender again. Wait, where is the mirror? Don't be looking crazy. See, because this one dries super quick. So you have to like be very fast with this. Otherwise it creases. You see it's like brightened up my under eyes really nicely. Even though it's on its last. Um, it's nice. But the thing is. When you come close. And you don't set it quick enough. It looks a bit patchy. And it kind of creases, so... Yeah. Okay, so let me tell you something actually really awkward. I don't have translucent powder. But my sister did teach me a little trick. Thank goodness. I don't know how the hell she figured this out. Um, but my mom is probably going to kill me. So I probably have to throw this on something else because this is very unhygienic. Wait. I'm going to throw it on... Yeah, I'm just gonna throw it in here. So basically, what my sister uses or taught me is custard powder, and I'm dead serious. Like Ben Nye, is it called Ben Nye banana powder? I mean, Moya's vanilla powder. Oh, I'm gonna show you quick. Yeah. Shit. Okay, so I threw a little bit on ooh, onto my little bronzer thing. I don't know if I'm using the right brush to be honest, but so dab it off. I'm just put a little like don't want to be turning yellow. I don't want your under eyes turning into custard. Wow, I really need translucent powder. Just not sure which one to get. I don't want to waste money on something that's not going to work. So it's really confusing. Do you see that? Um, I'll show you how obviously it works once I've dusted away. But I've done it before. Worked quite well. Um, moving on to the eyes. So I'm going to use sorry, this orange color. I have a really heat pan. And I'm going to just do it in my case. They call it the transition color, guys. Transition. Both sides, eh? Exact same thing. This is such a nice orange, it's my favourite and that is why there is hardly any more left. Uh, gonna need to replace that. Sorry about that guys, I just ran out of memory. But I sorted that out. Um, so, I was busy doing the transition colour, hey? And I also think... I can take this custard powder off now 
um because i'm not into baking and this is baking quite a while so How nice! Doesn't look bad, eh? Continue with this. Should <sighs> don't forget to blend high. Like I think it opens your eyes up, up open your eyes up a bit. So blend it up. Same with this. Blend it like up. Almost like just above or on your actual brow bone. And then I'm not going to do anything yet. I know it's supposed to be glam. But I'm actually going to use. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. But I'm actually going to use. No man. Okay, I'm actually going to use this Bodyography palette that I got Some time ago when I went to a workshop A makeup workshop And the colours are Really nice Really nice So I forgot my other brushes inside I'm so lazy um, I think I'm going to put The Hmm the orangey color this one it's like a red orange copper and I'm gonna put that all over the rest of my lids oh that's nice <laughs> can you guys even see Wow, this is like the easiest glam look ever. Okay. And now to kind of finish it off, you know when they do that under eye thing? Yeah. So this brush is more pointed the copper color and blend it at the bottom of my lid uh, my lid what am I talking about I'm talking about my eye guys yeah because they say no eye is finished without under eyes without lining your under eyes or putting shadow you under eyes and lately I can definitely agree with that because it's just does amazing things to your eyes trust me boo and once I blend it out it will look even better and now my cam's battery is flashing Goodness. It's gonna be really rushed now. I'm just gonna blend it out. Try using this fluffy blending brush. Mm. I'm going to use my Avon bronzing pearls and I'm gonna use this brush. They always say contour to your face, so let's see that line. That's the line I'm looking for. Don't want to take contour today. Can you see? Nice and subtle. Ooh. 
And they always say like, do your forehead if it's big. I don't know, like I just do it because my forehead isn't big but it's not small. So I just do it for the hairs, you know? This lighting is really bright all of a sudden, or has it always been like this? Hmm. I'm gonna to amp it up quick. So to help me amp it up quickly, I just put on my Ciate London bronzer just to make it pop a bit more and then I'm going to highlight with this new product that I got the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator um, so I'm just gonna highlight with this nothing major And I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender. This is basically the final soft glam makeup look that we were speaking about. Um, I feel like this is perfect for anything actually. You can wear it to lunch, you can wear it in the evenings, maybe put on a darker lip colour. I don't know, I would rock this every day in summer, definitely. I mean, it's basically one eyeshadow minus the transition colour. Hmm, I think it's really cute. Hope you guys enjoy that. Guys, all the products are very affordable. Like, I will link it down below if you want that. Um, but yeah, put on a cute outfit. Any good to girl, honey? Yeah. And guys, the custard powder worked. Can you see that? Look. It looks like I'm highlighted. It's really nice. So, if you guys are going to use that tip, please tag me so I can show my sister that her little tip kind of helped. It actually really helped. Even though I do want to invest in a good translucent powder. So, if you have any suggestions for translucent powders, for concealers, and, um, hmm, what was the last one? I don't know any suggestions like that please leave it down below i would love to hear what you guys are using and if you are gonna do this makeup look tag me as well i mean super easy i dare you to do it um please don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy it um yeah <laughs>